So just about set now. And today's starting pitcher, Miles Michaelis. And singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Exciting moment. He's got his family in town. I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career. The 1-1. A little out front there as he swings through it. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Slider got him for strike three. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Arenado settles under it and makes the catch. Two down. Here's the lineup for the Reds. Not the highest team batting average for this squad. They're down towards the bottom of the league in total hits. And Singy, because of that, they don't score a ton. Yeah, and Boog, I'm looking for a little better performance out of them today. I mean, if they're going to be dangerous, if they're going to be able to create scoring opportunities, they're going to have to start making some individual adjustments. A lot of players in this lineup probably aren't happy with how they've hit the ball so far. So today's a chance to get something going. 2-2 Two -two now. And a curve misses outside. Two outs, base is empty. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Reds down in order. And now the Cardinals get their first shot at it here. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in St. Louis. And getting the start for Cincinnati, Jake Junis. Chris, you don't have to dig too deep into the numbers to see how good he's been. Well, he's been nearly untouchable. Kind of a silent assassin out there. Just goes to work, and guys we look up. It's deep into the ball game, and they haven't been able to scratch anything off of this guy. So look for him to do the same thing today. Maybe go the distance. Maybe hand it over to the bullpen at the end and try to get that W. The one two and that one is lifted in the air Fraley should have it and out number one on the grab here's a Cardinals lineup now one guy leading the way offensively for this club right now Ivan Herrera tops on the team in batting average Boog a guy who's showing off some excellent bat to ball ability when he digs in at the plate you know that's useful if your team needs to get an inning going get a leadoff man on but it's also incredible to have a guy like that in the lineup because he's a run producer who can drive in runs if you've got guys on base already so he's a huge piece in this lineup And a pitch. Swings and misses. And there's two away. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Falling behind two and one. Two outs. Off the mark ball. there. And that's ball three. He goes down looking. Redbirds down quietly. We played an inning. No score. Started. Now the Reds' cleanup hitter, TJ Friedel. 
Guido. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Ty France. High in the air, out to right. Walker gets under it. He's got it, and there's two away. That is it. The designated hitter. Santiago. Two outs, base is empty. Santiago Espinal, the next to hit for the Reds. Second inning here, no score. Yeah, a big swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And another ball. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Line drive, base hit. And that extends the inning. Santiago Espinal with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Next for Cincinnati, Jake Fraley. Left-hand hitter waits. Fastball for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Espinal off of first with two away. Next ball, offering two. upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And that's the third out. Reds leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Bush Stadium. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Nolan Arenado. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Kicks and deals. The swing and a soft liner. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce that's a hit, good. but he made solid that's contact, good. and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Lars Newtbar. One out, base is empty. And a foul ball. And the pitch. And he grounds one back up the middle. On to France. And that quickly, two away. Batting foot. The catcher. Yvonne. And now it's Yvonne Herrera. Two down, nobody on. That's hard hit in the line. Steer makes the catch inning over. And down in order go the Cardinals. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning, and now it's Ahmed Rosario. 
Ahmed. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, well, it is. Right. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. Two-two down. Struck him out looking. Now the third baseman. Started after the one-two pitch. Appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Spencer Steer, the next to hit for the Reds. One one now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Top of the third, no score. And it's even up. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Nobody left for Cincinnati, and we're still knotted at zero. St. Louis as we go to the last of the third. And now the right fielder, Jordan Walker. The wide to kick the pitch. So now one and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. On the ground to third. And he grabs it in foul ground. One, two now. Up the middle. Nice grab. And no throw. He's into first easily. Jordan Walker with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here. Jose Fermin will hit next. Hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Jose Fermin with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but. It's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. First and second, no outs. Now batting Michael Ciani. Next offering is in for a strike. Thank you. The Redbirds looking to strike first here in the last half of the third. Just a slow ground ball this time. Over to second for one. Back to the pitcher covering in time. It's a double play. The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect. And right there, they made it look pretty easy. So digging in, Mason Wynn. Ground ball right side. 
He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So no runs on two base hits. No errors, and one left on. On to inning number four. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the fourth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ellie De La Cruz. And here it comes. That's in there. That is strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Great start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Tyler Stevenson getting ready to hit. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Here's a one two. Just nope. missed. It's a good take. Base knock right field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Tyler Stevenson with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here. So now here's the Reds cleanup hitter, T.J. Friedel. Left-hand batter waits. Ball three. And another ball. Fourth inning underway, no score. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Ty France, the next to hit for the Reds. And a pitch. Line drive, caught to second with the throw. No chance to get back. It's a double play. So one left for Cincinnati. And we are still scoreless. And we're back. Bottom of the fourth. Now up for St. Louis, Alec Burleson. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Alec Burleson with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Nobody out. Runner at first. Wouldn't chase that time. And a swing and a miss. And one out now. Well, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. I'll tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Here's Nolan Arenado. Next pitch is outside.
And the righty deals. Hey. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The pitch. And another pitch. ball. Man at first, one away. And that one ripped to left. Squeezes it. Now that no left field. And up next for St. Louis, Lars Newtbar. Fires. That's ball two. Right side. Fraley getting an angle on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. So one left for the Cardinals. Still no score. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the DH, Santiago Espinal. Santiago Espinal. That one ripped, but foul. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball two. And a good eye there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Here comes a pinch. Fights it off, you'll see another. And a pinch. In the air, out towards left center. Siani makes a nice running catch. Jake Fraley, the next to hit for the Reds. And he deals. And that's in for a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. In the air to left, down the line. And that's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Good job to fight that one off. The one, two. Got it by him for the play. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter. It just can eat you off, saw you off. Tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Now it's going to be Ahmed Rosario. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. He's got it. And that is out number three. And one, two, three go the Reds. Halfway through this one, still no score. here in St. Louis bottom of the inning and now Yvonne Herrera swings and chases a low one there the Cincinnati bullpen has some movement Tony Santion getting loose out there righty to the plate Ripped on the ground a second. On to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. The batter number 15, second baseman, 
So two down now, and here is Jose Fermin. The pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Helpful. Right side, Rosario throws the first in time. St. Louis goes down in order. Redbirds down quietly. Sixth inning coming up, still nothing on the scoreboard. Back here at Bush Stadium. Now at the plate, number 16. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but He's got a real high ceiling. Whoa, and that man. one is inside. Wouldn't Please chase go. that time. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. So the lineup flips over. Here's the left fielder, Spencer Steer. And fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. On the ground, could be two. One at second. How about that double play? I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to him for the Reds. There's a strike. All tied up, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Next offering upstairs. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. Kicks and deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And yeah, the right hander deals. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Now back. Uh, I don't have the numbers to back this up or anything, but I think pitchers who tend to rack up a bunch of strikeouts sometimes end up with more errors behind them in the field just because the defenders aren't as involved in the game. They're not as sharp, and who knows if that played any factor there, but I think there could be something to it. And here is Tyler Stevenson. Next offering is fouled back. Goes down looking. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. And we still have no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabi with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Michael Ciani. Action in the pen down there. Buck Farmer loosening up for manager David Bell. Pagan getting cranked up as well. On the ground. 
He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. He doesn't have a play, and the speedy runner is on at first. Michael Ciani with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Back to the top of the lineup, and here's the St. Louis leadoff man. Mason Wynn. Junis checks over to first, and he's back. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one in the dirt. Ball two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. With the go-ahead run at first, here in the bottom of the sixth. Run right around the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw a save. That's a stolen base. Now the Reds manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Jacob Junis is done, and that was a start he can feel pretty good about. Tie ball game, and new pitcher when we get back. Tony Santiago into the game. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. One out and a runner at second. the back going too soon it's strike two as a pitcher you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed a base hit's probably going to be a big run so you really have to execute on the mound left hand hitter waits and a foul ball he stays alive righty delivers Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Runner at second here. One gone. Good eye in that spot. That's a really good take. Paul Goldschmidt waiting for a turn at the plate. swinging toughest pitch to hit fastball on the outer black man sometimes you just got to tip your cap here's Paul Goldschmidt man at second swing and a miss and that's strike two Two, two high fly ball out to left field steer on his way over makes the grab and that'll end the inning back here in St. Louis stepping in TJ Friedel TJ Here's a 1-1. That one fouled off. 
Hitting is all about anticipation, and right now, this lineup is struggling with it. Their swings are mistimed, and it's produced a few ugly cuts here and there. Out to short. Tosses the first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. In now for the Reds, Ty France. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Kicks and fires. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Siani snags it for the second out. Now back, designated hitter, Santiago. Santiago Espinal, the next to hit for the Reds. Two outs. Towards first, Goldie. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now up the Cardinals' number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. Arenado. And a pitch. And it is two and one. Swings through that one for strike two. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. 2-2. Two -two. Battling here as he fouls it away. And the righty deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. That was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball, and then you swing and you miss. You go back to the dugout shaking your head. Nope. Just missed. Two ball, one strike. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Fly ball, center field. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's two away. And now the Cardinals catcher, Ivan Herrera. Two down, nobody on. Next offering misses down and away. Two balls, one strike. And Aye. now it's even up. Two, 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 down. two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. That one down the line, and it stays fair. Ivan Herrera with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Jordan Walker digs in now. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. 
two gone the possible go ahead run at first. Swings through that one out in front that time. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. And that will drop foul. And another ball. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Jose Fermin up next for the Cardinals. Out to center. Friedel hauls it in to end the inning. Start the eighth. Sonny Gray on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Walker going back and caught an awarded track. Excellent play out there, and he does it in a huge spot. That wall, it can very easily jar the ball loose when you bang into it, so that could have been a really different outcome. Now it's the second baseman, Ahmed Rosario. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. One down, base is empty. And now two and one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Andre Palante, the young right hander, up and throwing. Romero also getting ready. Wouldn't chase that time. Number 16 on deck for Cincinnati. Why to kick the pitch to the right side for me throws the first in time well there's a lot riding on that at bat right there nice job of the pitcher to bear down make the pitch get the ground ball excellent piece of work here's the third baseman now this guy a player that if he gets on base has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths two outs and now one and two. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And that one finds its way through. So the batting order turns over. Now the left fielder, Spencer Steer. And a pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Spencer Steer with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit for the Reds. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Around third. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. 
Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. And now the catcher comes up to him, Tyler Stevenson. Right-handed reliever. And a count one and two. This one in the air. He's under it. Makes the grab. And that's the third out. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And the home team down a run. You're dialed into the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Fernando Cruz. Yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. So now a pinch hitter for the Cardinals, Brendan Donovan. And this is a big at bat coming, boo. Definitely a little added pressure on him here. Looking to get the tying run on base. Rosario in plenty of time to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Here's the center fielder, Michael Ciani, trying to hold a one-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. And a 1-2. Stays alive. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. The pitch. That misses the zone. It's 2-2. Two and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two now. Just a weak fly ball this time. Rosario in position. Drops into the glove. Two away now. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. Ball to strike. And that one fouled off. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. And it remains 1-0. Staying in the game on defense, Brendan Donovan. He entered the game to pinch hit and now man second base. Well, one run game. T.J. Friedel now at the plate. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball. The one two next nope. offering is outside activity in the bullpen John King appears to be getting loose here comes a pitch hit on the ground to the right side and that one finds its way through and the leadoff man aboard 
T.J. Friedel with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boo. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And here's the first baseman, Ty France. And he deals. And he bunts, but that's foul. Strike two. When you're taking your lead over there at first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. And here it comes. And that one missing low. fly ball out into left center field. Siani sizes this one up. Siani racing over to make the catch. Jake Fraley, now the next to hit. The right field. Jake Fraley. The pitch. Runner takes off. Pitch misses. Throw the second great jump. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. Righty to the plate. And that one clips the corner. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Newt Bar moves under it. And that is that. Reds leave one, but they're on top, one nothing. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Alexis Diaz. A chance at his first save of the year. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter, Alec Burleson. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. One run game, bottom nine. Up and in, two and two. At the belt and fires. Just off the outside edge. Paul Goldschmidt up next. And a swing and a miss. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Fall off foul.
Got him swinging for the strikeout. And they're down to their last out. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in, and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated, and then this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. So it's their last chance in this one. Nolan Arenado getting ready to out to short. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Reds claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Boog. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. 1-0 the final for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shabby. Thanks for joining us.